well, it, it might be good morning by the time you get this. You should relax because this is a marathon. Many people are trying to make that big sum of money. Strike that home run, get this big deal, get this special financial hack so they can sit down and do nothing. That's what's predicating this, hopelessness. There are many people who don't feel that they're gonna live long enough, they don't feel that this is obtainable, they don't feel that it's worth it, they don't wanna put in the work because they don't think that it's going to pay off. One of the biggest problems that we have on the internet is everything is a quick fix. It's become so epidemic that if you think or you feel that you haven't achieved or have the money you want by a certain age, that you failed. One of the biggest things that's happening is the FIRE movement. Financial independence, retire early, I believe that's it. Which is a bunch of young people who are retiring at 25, 30, 35. But here's the rub, they're not retiring. There are three stages to getting wealthy. First stage, financial independence. What is financial independence? You reclaim your time. When you can make money and still have a somewhat flexible or free schedule, you're financially independent. That is not retirement. The second part of getting rich is actually getting rich. Having an income that is 10 to 20 times higher than the average income. You're rich, you're not wealthy. And getting wealthy is having assets that make you money whether you get up or not. And this is long-term, such as real estate, such as older stocks that pay dividends. Now you're wealthy, but before you can become rich, you need to become financially independent. And that's why this is a marathon. And this is why we're gonna be very specific with the language and the terminology. The other day I did a live stream and someone said, hey, I made 500 or 5,000 an hour. And I asked this person exactly how did they do it? Because there are many ways that you can make 500 bucks in the stock market in the hour. You can own a stock and it depreciates and goes up. You've technically made 500 bucks in an hour on paper. And until you sell that stock, you've not had money that you can spend. You've made money, not misinformation, half information. So I'm going to come out here and say, hey, I did X, Y, and Z, and you'll do X, Y, and Z, but they won't tell you about A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. They'll just tell you about X, Y, and Z. So you're going out here operating on half or maybe 10% of the information and wondering like, how come I didn't get those results? Because they didn't tell you everything. And that's why this is a marathon. First of all, you must become financially independent, meaning the ability to earn money and not have to punch a time clock. If you make 40K, right? Let's say you have a small e-commerce business and you, you run your ship very tightly. It takes you five hours a day to run that business. So you're actually making more than you're making the, the 40K because five hours, that gives you what? 10 hours to do something else. One of the biggest things that the internet has done is it has allowed stay at home moms to make an income equal or in many cases greater than their husband to the point that their husbands quit their job and join the wife in her business. And you wanna know why? The same reason that the 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 year olds are coming up. They have someone else paying all the bills while they're able to devote 100% of their time to growing their business. Say a wife, she's a mother, so she has not the freedom of a 16 year old, but still she has freedom because she's taking care of that kid and as someone who had children and took care of them, you know what they do? They sleep. So while they're asleep, you can be working. They go to sleep in the middle of the day and they go to sleep at night. And then you have this flexible schedule, you have someone else paying the bills, then you can really, really grow your business. And a lot of people don't really give credence to that bill payer, whether it's a husband, a family member, a parent. This is Gary V. He likes to go off and say, hey, you know, 
My father had this $3 million per year business, and I've had arguments with people on the internet. I know how hard it is to make $3 million. 99% of the country will never make $3 million in a year. 99.99% of the country will never make $1 million per year. Yeah, it was a small $3 million business. No, it wasn't. It was quite significant and it was a great help to Gary V. Whether he wants to own up to it or not, it's real. I did not have a parent to give me a $3 million business. I went the long way around. Part of the misinformation because we have egos and we have people who don't really want to delve into the truth. There are many of you out there, if you got to walk into a three or $10 million business and then this person who built this business schooled you, you'd probably be successful. Just facts. This is where the marathon thing comes in. Depending upon where you are on the age scale, you're gonna have, hold, wait for it, wait for it, a two to five year window where you're gonna work very hard and you're not gonna make a lot of money. I'm being silent because this is what I did. But see, I did it on my first business. And this is another thing, for those of you who have started businesses and then you stopped, you lose. But if you start a business, it doesn't work out, you take those lessons that you learned from the first business and apply them to the second, or in my case, I had to apply it to the sixth business. And that actually made money, but it didn't make as much money as it could have because I needed more seasoning. You'll start to find yourself feeling more comfortable because the things that come to you, they look very similar. It's like, oh, I've seen this before and I'll do this and this and this and I'll get around that problem or I'll handle the situation. But as a raw, naked entrepreneur with no seasoning, you could be brilliant. You're going to have 150 K in the bank. You're still going to fail because you don't know what you don't know. First five businesses. I was in the military failed. And then that sixth business, I took all of those lessons and this was GC solutions, the new furniture business. And I made a profit my first year, but strange thing happened. I was selling used office furniture and I made way more money selling less product because of the margins. And that was a very important lesson. I learned the value of margin. I am a margin beast. I would rather make sell 250 K worth of product and have a margin that's $200,000 versus selling $2 million and having a margin of 10%, which is like, um, it's the same money. It's the same money, but you have to sell so much more. And if you don't sell that much more, you're going to have problems and there's going to be consequences because Amazon don't play fair. Amazon like the honey badger, honey badger don't care and they will stick you for your paper. So this is where I'm at. And it takes once again, two to five years for you to get experience, not figure some stuff out. You can figure out some stuff just like that, but to get experience, it's going to take time. It's going to take exposure. Hence, this is a marathon. Hence, this is why I talk to my younger people. If you're 16, this is when you need to start, bro. A lot of you just spend all day playing video games. And some of you will become video game gamer, full-time gamers, making six figures, possibly seven figures. I'm going to give you a stat here. I looked it up this morning. I want you to guess how many million dollar homes are in the United States. Just take a wild guess. Now we'll tell you why. And I also want you to guess how many homes, not million dollar homes, but all of the homes that are in the United States. Now do think about that and put your comments in the comments with these people who are hitting it, who are being really successful. The internet kind of does something remarkable. It takes the rare, and then spits it out of the machine and makes it seem to be normal. Gary V, $3 million business. Donald Trump, a small million dollar loan. You have these people because of their egos essentially lying to you. 
because it's like, oh, it's a small million dollar loan, right? So many parents should be able to do that for their kids because it's a small loan. Or hey, my dad had a $3 million business, I, I should be able to go to my parents because you know, starting a $3 million business ain't nothing, right? Here is the big problem with that. This information is setting you up to fail because it's not giving you the full picture. You're getting a snapshot of a moment. You're not getting the full movie. You're not getting the full reel. And this is a big problem in a limited attention dynamic population. Many of you, your attention span is about that long. And it's because you've been programmed for it to be that long. Now, let's talk about these houses. Hopefully you put your comments, your guesses, how many million dollar pieces of property are in the United States? And how many houses are in the United States or households, all right? There's 2.6 million dollar, 2.6 million million dollar or greater homes. 2.6 million, sounds like a lot. And if I was just to give you that snapshot, you might be gassed up. But hold on, this is your Uncle G, this is your hustling godfather. I'm gonna give you the full picture, I'm gonna give you the full movie. There is 126 million houses or households in America. So when you take 2.6 and you divide it into that 126 million household, you get 2% of the population or really 1.8%. 1.8% out of 126 million homes is not a lot. But if you just look at that 2.6 million, you be like, yeah, I can do that. I can get my million, I can get my mansion. Cause you don't get the full picture. But when you get the full picture, then that anyone living in a million dollar home, that's super remarkable unless you're you, New York or California. Okay, let's be real. The average person to afford a million dollar home has done something that 98% of the country has not. Wait a minute, let's go into the world. If you were to do this from a global perspective, it gets worse because <laughs> most of the world is poor. So it becomes not even 1%, it's a fraction of a percent if you were to include the rest of the world. And I give you this information because what we're gonna do here at Money, Income, and Profit is give you the full picture because when you get better information, you make better decisions. And one of you biggest problems I have with a lot of people is they're giving you part of the picture, part of the information, and you're making complete decisions based on false narratives. And then you're frustrated and you're like, how come this isn't working? Lag Last night, live stream, someone's like, I've been watching you, been watching you. I finally took action and I made 800 bucks just picking up stuff off the curb. Go ahead, you can check it in this last video before this one. $800, free. Just going around, picking up discarded stuff and selling and flipping it on Craigslist. But many of you are too good for that. I've noticed something, that there are people who are broke will not work fast food, will not work in a temp agency, will not do hard labor. And they're broke, and I'm just like, why are these people who are broke refuse to do work? Because they have someone taking care of them. That's why. Because if they didn't have anyone taking care of them, our homeless population would explode. You've got that dynamic to deal with, that people, and once again, this isn't even your fault. This became because the No Child Left Behind Act, Everyone should go to college. No one should be an electrician. No one should be a plumber. No one should be a welder. Everybody needs to go to college and look what happened. We have millions and millions of people with massive outrageous student loan debt that most of them will never be able to pay off. That is a bad situation. And that's why this is a marathon. You're going to have to do some things you don't want to do for two to five years to get the things you want to get to do the things that you want to do for the rest of your life. At some point, you're going to have to pay the price. It can preferably it'll be when you're young, <laughs> but 
you're 50, you're 60, and you gotta pay that five-year price so you can get some freedom, uh, I can tell you it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because the older you become, the less flexible you usually are. This is why I'm a YouTuber, and this is why I do this stuff, and this is why I live with someone, because I know me, and the way that I was going, I was gonna be one of those hermits, living by myself with probably a cat and a dog, because it's a marathon. Life is a marathon. And many people are looking at very short periods of time. One year is very short. Two years is very short. Five years is very short if you live to be 80. Five years divided by, that's not a lot of time. But people want it too fast and they don't want to become technicians and craftsmen of what they do. Relax, it's a marathon. Later on in the day, I'll be putting out the five chicken account blueprint and it's going to be very detailed and it's going to answer all of your questions. So go below, get on the list, or you can go to moneyincomeprofit.com and just sign up and just look for it later on the night. So with that, I'll see you good people later.